think I'm going to get these vids done, which is great, because then I can go to write the tutorial. So the second card for this week is we're going to use the Playful Pets bundle. and uh, But I'm not using the dies. Although the dies do cut out the animals out of the paper, but obviously they cut the stamps images too, I wanted to keep it a little bit simpler for you. So I've got the cards out, so I'm ready to show you that. But I thought I'd show you this picture first. So predominantly we're using the paper. We're going to use some of the ribbon, which you can see these two ribbons here. Um, one of them is like a ball of twine and the other one is this one here and this is the one that you'll have in your pack uh, In one of the photos I have used one of the little trinkets, but I haven't put them in your pack. You've got um, You've got some black glimmer and I, I use the black glimmer from the mini catalog So it's one of the Christmas ones. I thought it went really well, especially for the um, the one that's pussycat featured because you, you didn't have enough contrast on your um, your DSP. So let me go to the actual cards and I'm just going to pop that over there and we can have a look at those. So these were the two cards that I made and obviously they're exactly the same sort of other than one's got a dog, one's got a cat. I've, I have used um, the punches for those, the dog and the cat punch and I've also and then I embossed them uh, with a tasteful textile embossing folder to give them some um, some movement and some light and shade. So it looks a bit more like dog dog hair or dog fur. I have used the stitch die here, and you'll have this in your pack, and that's out of the Love of Leaves Stitch Leaves bundle. So that's the one we used before. And I don't know what that did. I've got some flash there. I don't know if it's lightning on my camera. Really weird. Oh, it's this one. Oh, here we are. That light just went off. So that was that explains that. Um, this strip of this strip here is actually the DSP, and so is this one here. And I've used these on the inside of the card. So in your kit, you've got one piece for the front, and you've got a long bit for the back for the inside of the card, which you'll be able to trim. Now I've used the stamp, the stamps out of the stamp set for both of these cards on the inside. If you have them, you'll be able to do it. Otherwise, you'll just be able to use something else. And let me get the Playful Pet stamp set. That's the stamp set. So I did use this one for the dog and that, and um, the cat. I thought it's looking at the mouse. Um, what was I going to say? Something else really important, but I've forgotten. Never mind. And I've used, um, the dies I used for the DSP were not out of this set, this die here. It gave a bit of a different look and I thought they looked pretty funky. So I'll show you what they are and where they came from. So they're part of the poppy moments that were in the catalogue last time and carried over the mini catalogue. Oh look, I've got a star. And these were the two dies I used. I used this one for this piece of your DSP which you'll have in your pack and I've used this one for the red highlight this piece here let me pop stop this and I'll assemble the pieces for you so you can see what you've got to use okay, I have now laid out the pieces for you so I think you can see them I think they're all in view so first of all the, the card base is crumb cake you've got your front piece which I've used the love of leaves stitched Die. See, that's the back side of it. It's got a bit of red stuff on it, but that'll brush off. That was from my new uh, plate. And then this is for the inside for you. So you've got your dog. Now I've used the dog punch to chop him out. And also then after I did all these, I popped them through the big shot using the textile, tasteful textile embossing folders. So there's a the dog punch. It's got a, you can see a heart. I've used the heart here, here, and these are some leftover bits which I've chucked in for you. Okay, and this was the cat punch, so exact same, except this doesn't have a heart on it. Um, I'll step you through the other piece. So this one was the one I used for the Peaceful Moments, I think it was called, um, die cut. So I don't want that one there. I glued that on first of all uh, with some Tombow. And how I've done this, in fact, I will put one together for you so you can see. I'll just do the dog because the, the cat's the same, effectively the same. But I'll show you the cat pieces. Because that's white, a piece of DSP is white, and they say the words that a cat would do. If I put that on 
um, here like I had with a dog, you really wouldn't see it. You see that? So that was why I thought what we need with the cat one is this black glimmer so you can actually see it because it looks really pretty. You may need to trim um, you, you may need to trim it down a little bit and then you're just going to glue that on there the same way. I'll do the dog one so you can see how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to make sure you're in view. You are. So the light's fading, so I want to be quick with this because I really want to get these delivered fairly quickly to you or posted. I'm actually just going to pop that on. I've lost my tweezers, which is such a damn nuisance, but never mind. I can manage without just for now. Um, and the beauty of the glue, it's not really where I want it, so I'm actually going to slide it along if it'll possibly play. Let me see if I can turn it around that way because I can't quite see what I'm doing here. Here we are, one tiny wee border. There we go, that'll do me. And then I'm just going to glue him onto the dog. I can find my dog, here's the dog. And I just want it so it looks like it's sitting about there on the dog. So all I need to do here, I'll make sure you can still see, is put, which way do I want dog, my dog facing? I want my dog facing this way, so I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of glue there and a little bit along here. I don't know if I need it on the tail and I'll show you why that is actually doesn't matter because once you're going to once you do this we'll get him straight. I love the grid paper because I can straighten him up there. Here we are that'll do. All right then how I will stick that to here I might actually do this and can you see what I'm doing? You can can't you? I'll be really quick I promise. Tiny bit wee dot of glue just where it's thicker I know that lots of you go you'll know how to do this but I'll just do it quickly I think that'll do now I will make sure the paws are pointing in the right direction here we go and I'll have that about there and he's down and I will find the trusty dimensionals which are over here and I can do that and somehow I've managed to misplace my pack my take your pick tool I wonder where I've put it oh gosh I did find the take your pick tool it was hiding under something right so I want to glue my puppy dog down and I'm going to pop him about there all right like so, I've got room for I've got room for smile or something there. Since I've got him down, I might actually pop that a bit higher, about there. It doesn't really matter. So, because I've got all this space, I can now pretty much adhere these bits together. So, can you see I'm going over the dog's paw and the body as well as everything else? That'll do. And then I'm going to use some, I'm going to use a half bit here and probably a half bit there. And that will do for his nose. And this piece here is really skinny. I didn't pick it up. So that bit will work there. And then I can use these small ones around my puppy dog. If, I, if Rocket was here, he would think I was talking about him. There we are. That'll do. I'll pick these pesky things off. I think sometimes you, you get a stack, you've got enough on there, and they won't pull off. That's still stuck. everywhere okay in view okay you can see what I'm doing can I get him down straight I do want him to be sort of looking that way here we go he'll do oh damn it. you know what I forgot I forgot the uh, ribbon well I did exactly the same thing when I made the card you've got a quite a long length of ribbon in here you can do this if you wanted to and you could tie a little bow, you'd have enough because you've got heaps. But I'll tell you what I did in case you do exactly the same thing as me. This is way more than I need. I actually retrofitted some glue dots in there. Here we go. And 
make him bend that over double. The idea for you will be to do this first, but given I've already made the same mistake twice, I reckon I could probably do it again. The ribbon is really pretty. I'm going to shove that in there. It'll go in. Rather than try and pull it up, pull off the dimensional, which could be a bit problematic, it's actually easier just to do this. You've got, you have actually got heaps of ribbon. You could probably, you could use it on your your other pet that you've got sitting there. And I love the pet take your pick tool because it means I can retrofit my ribbon. There you are. You'd never know, would you? Done. Ribbon's done. Oh, it's not ribbon. It's his, uh, it's his dog collar, of course. And um, what else have I got to do with the front of my card? Here's the card. Smile in black. It's in red, so I need to clean up my um, my doo -doo, my stamp. Okay, I'm now going to see if I can stamp this straight. Let me try not to get my head in the thing. And pray I haven't got a halo. Oh, look, I don't have a halo and my head didn't get in the way, so it's well, maybe not. Okay, whoops. And I might cover this black up since so I won't get too clumsy. I didn't actually want to do that, get glue there, but I've done it. So, But I can use my take the picked clay in to put that there. And then I've got my heart on. So that's done. And it, then it's just a matter of um, laying this on. And I would just use tear and tape to do that. And on the inside, I will show you how I'll do this because it's going to be super simple. I'm just going to lay this black strip along. Now, I only want four inches, like a, it's just under four inches, so it's nine point something centimetres. So I don't need all that length. I might trim some of that off now because <clears throat> then it'll be less to have glue on that I'll get glue on everything else. And I might try and get my um, my writing up the right way. Oops. I've got glue everywhere and I've got shaky paws. And I'm going to leave it up there. Here we go. That's sort of straight. And then all I'm going to do for that, I've got glue everywhere, so I'm just going to put, try and put, not my, put my hands there. That's ready to go on. So um, I'll show you how I'll adhere that now. Parent tape, where you want. There you are. Okay. First things first. Just this is just for some of the girls who don't necessarily know how to do this. This is how I do it, so I can probably better manage my space. I'll just clear some of it to try to out of the way. This is going on the inside. If you give it a rub, you find the um, the tear and tape will lift off a bit. I've left a quite a reasonable board around the edge, so you've got actually got some contrast. This paper includes quite a few colours, so I felt it important that we have some contrast in your card base. And I'll probably, I have stamped on the other one. I'll leave this one blank. And uh, there we are. That's done. Let's put the inside, the outside on. If you're worried about perhaps um, making an error with your stamping for the inside, you can just leave it, you know, maybe tucked in a cello bag and not attached and then if you need to change it later on you can or you can stick something over the top right so same deal are you in camera there we go. and then i'll just take that off yeah 
So for the girls who, so Gay, I know you've got long fingernails. You might find your um, your taker picks really useful for that too. Or if you've got long fingernails and you can't sort of grab, or you've got nail um, nail polish on. I don't wear it. There we are. So there he's done. And the cat is very similar. The only difference is that you've got your glimmer paper just so that you can see this DSP. And you've got... Um, hi, I'm back. Um, I had a phone call in the middle of that, which really made it a little bit tricky to finish videoing. What I've done in the meantime, though, I've um, I've just quickly glued the, um, the cat DSP, where it says love and jump and meow, just to the glimmer paper. When you're, um, if you're doing the cat one, when you're sticking to to um, glimmer, this is the black glimmer. It's part of the Halloween, part of the new mini catalog. Um, when you're sticking to glimmer, even though this is really fine, you just need a little bit more glue. So I glued that on first, and then I would do exactly the same thing that I did with the um, with the dog. And you saw how I did that, um, just to um, tack a bit of. Um, glue onto the cat's paws and then um, and you've already attached this and then you can just glue that on and with the cat in your kit I've actually given you a I've got to find one instead of the trinket I've actually given you a black heart so you could put a little black heart here instead of the um, instead of the trinket but the rest of the card is pretty much exactly the same and once again, the only difference with a cat card is because we've got uh, the long strip is, is basically white. Uh, I've given you a, um, a piece of red cardstock to put that on and then you can put your own greeting in there. So they are the cards for this week. Naturally, if you have any queries at all, so we've got those ones and then we've got the, um, the, the Love of Leaves bundle. Naturally, if you have any queries at all, please don't hesitate um, to give me a call. I'm only too happy to answer your queries. Have fun, stay safe and keep well. Bye-bye for now.